All right, let's talk about um, the war with Mexico. So the United States and Mexico are going to enter war. Um, remember, let's do kind of just a review real quick about Texas. Texas was originally part of Mexico. They fought for their independence. They won it. Um, during that time in um, 1836, Andrew Jackson would not allow Texas to come into the Union. Two reasons. One, he didn't want to cause more debate over slavery. And two, he didn't want to cause a war with Mexico. So Mexico still sees Texas as its land. Um, and Andrew Jackson knew that if he were to allow Texas to enter into the Union, that would cause a war with Mexico. And essentially, that's what happens. So we see that there's already resentment um, towards the United States um, from Mexico because of the annexation of Texas. Um, there's always kind of been hostility between the United States and Mexico. Probably uh, remember that Texas to come slide down for to pay border. So they're mute over the uh, disorder. The border way up actually a signal. Uh, okay, so my mom just walked in the room. Uh, so I don't know where I ended. So we'll just pick up with where I think we ended. Um, we offer to pay Mexico for land. Mexico denies that. And so Polk sends Zachary Taylor down to this border. Um, they sit there in Corpus Christi, right below Corpus Christi. So this uh, is kind of an attack on, Mexico sees this as an attack because it's technically their land, they think, because it's right here in Corpus Christi and that's the border. Um, and so this essentially declares war. Um, we're not going to talk about all the different campaigns. We're just going to move on to how this, the winning of this war impacts uh, Manifest Destiny. So to recap, two reasons for war. One, uh, resentment over Texas entering the Union. And two, dispute over the Texas-Mexico border. Through all of we signed the chance of the war to do. It would be the Rio. So gain. Um, now this, we have, we didn't really, um, this that we complete this isn't one you're telling the story the mix is ours war this new t what about the free american war all fought results from slave debating and so based on the powerful in congo some he is a uh, no stick that we just the yes so the sex slavery it though this that are grant pass all that powerful in 1850 them up so this it um, as popular do what i feared that is different slavery you did a slave law be a people be state so Okay, so another person came into my room. So sorry. Um, okay, so we have some new guys emerge in Congress. We're starting to really set this stage of division between um, men that are representing us in Congress. So congressmen who support slavery, Henry Clay, oh, my beloved John C. Calhoun, and Daniel Webster. The men that oppose slavery, Charles Sumner, William H. Stewart, Stevens, Thassius Stevens, and Salmon Chase. Um, we're going to kind of come back to this guy. We're not going to hear a lot about these gentlemen except this one right here. We will continue to hear about these three gentlemen as our lectures progress and head into the Civil War. Okay, so our last group of people, we have what's called doe faces. Stephen Douglas, um, Avery, they, do, they trade on other half slaves. Um, Pierce becomes this Avery, our politics are impure. The story, look, to guys. Um, enjoy the rest of class.